Question number one. A survey of 120 school students was done to find which activity they prefer to do in their free time. So this is the two columns in the table, preferred activity and number of students. I claim is loved by 45, reading storybooks by 30, and watching TV by 20 students, and listening to music by 10 students, and painting is like by 15 students. So this is what the table shows. Draw a bar graph to illustrate the above data taking scale of one unit length equal to five students. Which activity is preferred by most of the students other than playing? So this is how we will construct a bar graph. So we will take a one unit length equal to five students. This is because when you look at the data, you can clearly see that numbers are small. So one unit length equal to five, that means five, and we have 10, and your 50 by 5 and 2. So this is your number of students in horizontal. Now, what you can see is that for playing, we have 40 by 3. So we will make for playing. So playing is at the bottom. You can see maximum number of students, 40. So we will draw a horizontal bar. And for reading storybooks, we have 30. Therefore, the length will be of 30 horizontally. Similarly, for watching TV, 20. And for listening music, it is 10. And for painting, we have 15 students. This is how you make your bar graph. Now, which activity is preferred by most of the students other than playing? Well, you can see playing is like by the maximum number of students. What is the next activity that is love? It is reading storybooks having 30 students. This is your question number first. Question second. The number of mathematics books sold by a shopkeeper on six consecutive days is seen. Consecutive is repeating next days, next to next days. The days, and that is in a week, number of books sold. So draw a bar graph to represent the above information choosing the scale of your choice. Now so you have the choice to choose a scale. So this is the bar graph vertical having number of mathematics books and on days, all the days of the week. So you can choose a unit length equal to five books. Here, because numbers are not that much high. So we can see here that unit length equal to 5 books. So that is 0, 5, 10, separated by 5 units, representing 5. So you can see for Sunday it is 65. We will make height up to 65 on Sunday. That means 65 books are sold. On Monday we have 40, and on Tuesday 30, Wednesday 50. And you can see the gap between bars has to be equal. And the bar width also has to be equal. For Monday we have 40, for Tuesday we have 30, and for Wednesday we have 50 books. For Thursday we have 20 books sold, and on Friday maximum sales of 70 books. This is how you draw your bar graph. That was your question second. Question third. Following table shows the number of bicycles manufactured in a factory during the years 1998-2002. So this is your years and number of bicycles manufactured respectively. Illustrate this data using a bar graph. Use the scale of your choice again. Then find in which year were the maximum number of bicycles manufactured and be part in which year were the minimum number of bicycles manufactured. So this is your bar graph. Here, vertical will have number of bicycles in, followed by years in horizontal. The scale is of one unit length equal to 100 bicycles. Why? Because when we look at data, the numbers are just flying from 600 to 1200, which can be easily represented in this way. Therefore, we have from 100 to 1200, one unit length equal to 100 bicycles. So for 1998, we have 800, we will draw it up to 800 height. And for 1999, 600, and uh, the gap should be equal again, and the bar width should be equal again. This is the way of constructing these bar graphs and bars. For 99, we have 600, 
So height will go up to 600 and 2000 we have 900. For 2001 we have 1100 bicycles manufactured and for 2001, 1100 and 2002, 1200. In which year were the maximum number of bicycles manufactured? It is clearly visible on 2012, that is 1200 bicycles manufactured. And the minimum number of bicycles manufactured in which year? You can see here 600 has the lowest height in 1999. So this was the question number third. Question four. Number of persons in various age groups in a town is given in the following way. So this is the age group followed by number of persons that fall under any given age group. So draw a bar graph to represent the above information and answer the following question. Take one unit length equal to 20,000. A. Which two age groups have the same population? B. Part. All persons in the age group of 60 and above are called senior citizens. How many senior citizens? are there in the town. So this is your bar graph. You will take number of thousands, vertical and age group as horizontal. So this is your representation. And we have to take one unit length equal to 20,000 because the population is high. So one unit length 20,000. You can see one unit has intervals of 20,000. This is 80. Similarly, we will represent now 1 to 14 age group by this bar graph. And 15 to 29 by this bar up to 75 and above. Now, 1 to 14 have 2 lakhs, we will represent in 2 lakhs, and for 15 to 29, 1 lakh 60,000. And in the same way, rest of the others will be drawn. Now, A part, which two age groups have same population? Well, we will check for the height. We can clearly see this age group of 30 to 44 and 45 to 69 have the same population. B part, all persons in the age group of 60 and above are called senior citizens. How many senior citizens are there in the town? We have to see for age group 60 and 64 and above. So these two bars will fall. We will calculate the corresponding number. That is 80,000 plus 40,000 gives you 1 lakh and 20,000. And we add it. So this was asked in this B part. That was your last question, question number 4.